Okay, people, we're back. And I downgrade the graphics a little bit. I know, kind of sucks, but now hopefully the game will run a little bit smoother and I can play without playing in slow motion. So, as I was saying before, when you're looking for an outfit, it's best to find one lying around, not being used, because you don't have to worry about a body. Now, I just destroyed that fuse box, and the guard guarding the outfit will walk on past us, and we will be able to sneak past him and put on that outfit and have uh, be able to walk around more of the facility without worrying about getting shot. So now we're a regular guard. Not a VIP guard, by the way, just a regular one. Uh, let's see, let's take a look around. So here's the backyard. We are absolutely not allowed to be in here if we're only in our suit. Uh, now this guy is a VIP guard. Ideally, we would like his outfit, but getting one of his isn't exactly easy. So, I know a lot of people like to sneak into the mansion in different ways, but this is actually my favorite way. It's the easiest. You don't have to wait for guards to turn around and pick locks. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just sneak in here. So now, ah, now there's uh, the boss man himself uh, playing his cello, and... I do have a gun, and I could shoot him, but I want to do something a little bit different. So let's look around and see what there is. Oh, a hammer. I totally didn't know that was there. So uh, let's head back. Now, as a regular guard, I'm not allowed to be in here, so got to be careful. Nice. He's dead. One smack. And, oh, he's got a gun. Hey, a snub nose. Let's keep that, shall we? Let's see. Huh. Well, let's, uh... Let's take this guy's clothes, shall we? Why not? Now, the thing about uh, killing people while they're sitting is... If you use certain weapons, such as a syringe or a choking wire, they won't know that the person is dead. Um, well, I mean, obviously, now that uh, I've taken his clothes, they'll know something's up if they look at him. But, uh, and I'm getting more slowdown. I can't believe it. It's medium graphics, and I'm still getting slowdown. I mean, my computer isn't the best, but it's not... No, no, 47, not there. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, shit, damn it. I gotta take care of this guy really quick. And hopefully, uh, no one will realize that I am the one who murdered that guy. So, let's, uh, let's walk around here and... Yeah, so, okay, well the fight music stopped, so I think we're in the clear. Now there's always the danger of being caught when you're climbing out, um, when you're climbing out of that place. Ugh, the graphics do not look as good, that sucks, but, well the game's running smoothly and that's really the most important part, right? Now we gotta look for the sun. He's usually hanging around here, so... And I'd kill that guy for no good reason. I just didn't like him hanging around. I don't know. Um... The sun's usually hanging around here. No, he's not here. Huh. Ah, here they are. So, uh... Yeah, there he is. Uh, I mean, not, not the guy in the blue shirt, the guy in the pink shirt. Um, you know, I have an idea. 
And this guy's gonna make a funny face at me. A funny face. Oh, shit. Ugh. Hold on a second, folks. Hello? That folks got a phone call, and I just kind of fucked up, didn't I? Um, but it looks like our target's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I gotta reload. I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Damn it, how come all these guys' guns are not loaded? That doesn't make any damn sense. Um, damn, we gotta get out of here. Almost died. Come on, elevator, come on, come on, elevator. Oh, Agent 47, looks like you spilled something. Uh, looks like you spilled something. Come on, damn it. Hurry up. Okay, so... Hey buddy, how's it going? Yeah, hey, fuck you too, buddy. I'll knock your ass out. Um, <laughs> I didn't have to do that. I just felt like it. <laughs> uh, let's dress up as this guy. Why not? Hitman, Agent 47, Blood Money. It's all about dress up, isn't it? And I'm gonna push this guy in the water for no damn reason. Ha! Okay. So... We're almost through with this level. And I kind of felt like I didn't show you very much of the level. Um, there's just so many different ways you can kill your target. But, uh, I don't know. I don't want to linger on any level for too long because that would just become boring and redundant. So, I'm going to leave this here with a cutscene and a newspaper. And I'm going to murder this guy. Why? Just because. Sorry, buddy. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. Wonder if I can kill this guy. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, the bullets don't reach. Okay. Okay, and here are our results. Let's see, we've killed 10 people total. My, it feels like we killed way more than that, doesn't it? Uh, but we didn't. We were, weren't caught on camera, but we did have five witnesses. Huh. Alright. So, our rating is Hoodlum. That's interesting. And... Huh. So... We lost $8,000. Eh, not too bad. And here's our newspaper. And for some reason... Our picture is some kind of Asian guy or something. Huh. Let's see. Local police confirmed, etc, etc. Uh, innocent tourist? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Limited experience. <laughs> Only basic fire arms training. I guess next time I should try to be more professional, shouldn't I? Hmm. Okay. Alright. So that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money this episode, etc., etc. Uh, that was barely a sentence, wasn't it? Um.